everybody. My name is Kamakhal Mapoya Kansotsa. Boza Yadi Boza. And thank you so much for tuning into Aspiring. Today we have another CA in the building, you know, two future CAs in the building. <laughs> and we're going to talk all things um, accounting and study tips because, you know, we've been speaking about the career itself, but we haven't really dived into what we need to do to actually become the phenomenal future CAs. You know, we want to be the best CAs of the future. So today we are diving deeper into the CA um, career and speaking more to the academic side of things. And of course, I could never do it alone. I have another future CA in the building. I have Titelo Mamba. <laughs> Hi, Titelo. Uh, hello, Kamala. How are you? I'm good. And how are you? I'm good, but I'm anxious, but then, yeah. You're a little nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, social anxiety, but then it's two of us. I know you, so I think, yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to be good. You're going to be good. Yes. Don't worry, it's just the two of us. Okay. Pretend like the camera's not even there. Okay. <laughs> it's us talking about school in yeah. general. We used to we used to talk about these things. So All why the not? time. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's just that a camera's there for now. <laughs> it's invisible, though. <laughs> okay, okay tell, tell us, tell the people at home, who are you, where are you from? And yeah, like, what's your life story now? Okay. okay, let me just start by introducing myself. So yeah, my name is Mampa Titelo. I'm from Limpopo in Rampachele. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I grew up in Rampachele with my grandmother. Obviously, I was raised by my grandmother. My mother was living in Johannesburg, but then he, she didn't raise me. So I did my high school in Sokopoche Secondary School. It's just that also in Rampachele. Okay. Then, yeah, I passed my matric. Yeah. Past my, he's he's okay, continue. Yes. <laughs> I passed my metric, then I was like, okay, let me just come to UCT and come and study chartered accountancy thing. I did like I actually didn't know more about this. But yeah, that's more about me and also like a, I think something like uh, I think a lot of people don't actually know about me is like Mugai is a say say say. Is a football player. Yes. Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> I, I, I played for one of the professional teams called Varoga FC. Varoga FC? Yeah, I played for Varoga FC wow, when I was in like okay. grade 9. Since grade 9, then grade 12, I had to choose whether you want to follow the football career or go to school. But you know how football is a short career. It's so uncertain. So I had to go with school. Okay. That's why I decided, okay, let me come to UCT. Because if it wasn't about that... I was going to go to University of Limbobo because it's nearby Faroga, so I got to train and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Guys, the reason why I had to stop him when he said I passed matric. Let's go back. <laughs> matric was not just you passing. You were in the top 10 provincially. Yeah. Well, you, you, you were the ones going to those provincial breakfasts with the, the MECs. That is not something small that means yeah. you really did well in metric yeah obviously in metric i did well uh, thanks to my teachers back in high school like for trusting me because like it, if it wasn't about them i wouldn't have got those 98 and everything in mm. those mathematics and physical sciences but like yeah obviously uh, that's the thing i want to thank them and also my friends back in high school because of the support i got from them and also from my grandmother or my role model She's my role model. I wasn't gonna be also here at UCT if it wasn't about that woman. She's my oh, champion. <laughs> you love your grandmother, I can so tell. So much. I love my grandmother. So that's why uh, I want her to be here when I graduate next year. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, before we get into okay, anything too okay, serious now, okay. let's have a few icebreakers okay. just to lighten the mood, everything. Okay. So you said that you're a football player. Yes. So I'm gonna ask. Okay. Who's your favorite football team in South Africa? In South Africa. And then overseas as well. Ah, okay. In South Africa, it's Kaiser Chiefs. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> love yourselves. Uh, no, uh, like it shows that this man is loyal. Like <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs has been doing good Wait. back in the past. Now he's doing bad. But then I'm still supporting this team because it, 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 support is not only about the like, good. The good. It's also mm. about showing that you actually love this team. Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs. Ah, you need to fix your issues there, Kaiser Chiefs. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, what, what you call a plastic fan. I, just because my team is not doing well doesn't mean I have to move to another team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to be with this team through thick and thin. Yeah. Okay. So Kaiser Chiefs, <laughs> Kaiser Chiefs locally and then internationally? Internationally. Everyone knows who's been in my status because like I Hala Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Real Madrid. 
That's my team. Again, in, in the English Premier League, who? Uh, I don't support anything in the English Premier League. Oh, you just watch for fun? I just like, because like of the love of the sport. Okay. But like... I don't believe in those thing, kind of things of say you have to support this team in La Liga, this team in what are, what about when they meet each other in the UEFA Champions League? Okay. So I'm Real Madrid. I love it. Uh, through and through, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you one more. Okay. Um football related mm-hmm. and then we'll go mm-hmm. to other ones. Mm-hmm. So local top football player for you and international top football player. Local is uh, Tambazwani. Okay. Yeah, she, okay. she plays for Sundowns. But I feel like someone who's coming there to be like one of the role models for everyone, I think like Lebo Gilemo Fuki. Oh, okay. But then amazing yes, footballer. Yes, he's, he's Pirates. Yeah. That, the best team. <laughs> that one is our, is, is our last one. I, I tell people that if you see Lebo Gilemo Fuki in, in, in groove, Please beat him because yeah, that's no. our last one. He's you very have, young. He's what, 20 now? Yeah, we he have really to protect him to. at all costs because that mm. guy, something great the is The future coming. of South Africa. The future sure. of South Africa. But like currently, it's Mushishi. Okay. One. Abroad, everyone knows Cristiano Ronaldo. We are when you are support Real Madrid. It's a must to go for <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. <laughs> so Cristiano Ronaldo is like my role model. Yeah. Okay. Okay, besides football, <laughs> let's go to music. Okay. When you're sitting at home, you're listening to music. Ah. <laughs> Give me at least one or two artists or songs at least. <laughs> okay, artist. Uh, Limbobo boys, they know. Oh. Shave, ah, shave. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Last so, time it doesn't pronounce you again. <laughs> oh my word. Guys, you guys don't know the influence that Shave she has in our life. Like, we've seen that guy, like going through the most like during his childhood life and now he's the biggest thing like in South Africa so like he's one of the role models for us and we actually enjoy the music because like what I like about his music he actually talks about his journey how mm-hmm. how how are things like okay. he talks about the journey like and obviously he used the mother tongue speak you guys <laughs> speak. you don't have to learn in English to be the good use your mother tongue so okay. she was shit for me then the other person, I feel like, uh, what's that? Uh, Adele. Adele. Like that you see oh, that, wow. that women's music therapy? You see, when you go through the most and you listen to her music, like, oh, you see, if I, I had never money, expected, like, I've heard you listen, <laughs> but Adele being like, I a listen top. to Adele. That's why if I had money to go to Monique and see one of her concerts, <sighs> I was going to break my bank. <laughs> I was gonna break my game. So up. when that CA bag comes through, you're going to Nadal concert. I have to. It's a must. Okay. So, I see. I see where your money is going yeah, in the next ten years. Easy, easy. <laughs> so obviously, even when I'm going through the most, or when I'm studying, and I want things to go through the flow. I listen to Adele. To Adele. Obviously, I can listen to Shabby Shit when I'm studying. The music it's, it's is too loud. Yeah. Okay. So Adele. Yeah. Relaxing, calming. Yeah, and things are coming. Okay, so let's take it back to you growing up. You said you grew up with your grandmother and she is your role model. My role model. And you love her. I can tell the love you have for her. (laughs) Um, When you were growing up, what were you thinking I'm going to be when I'm older? Okay, so um, let me just start. Okay, firstly, because growing up, but because um, I was always thinking about like I want to be a professional footballer, Mm. like... That is talent. That is something that I, I played football. Like I seen mm, age of 10, that's when I started playing football. Then, yeah, obviously now when I I was chosen one, I was the chosen one from my community to play for Barroca. So like that dream Boosted. became a reality. Yeah. I was like, yes, I'm going to be there. People are going to be seeing me in TV. But obviously when you start growing up, start growing up, you realize like, you read the news, you see how like the careers of footballers is cut short, then you start losing love for, 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 for the sport. Start losing love and start focusing more on like the education part. So that's when I still okay now I wanna become an actuary. That's what people <laughs> <laughs> expected of you. Yeah. Okay. Like I was like, okay guys, I know maths, I know physics, I know accounting. Okay, I wanna do it. Study actual science. Because this is extra science needs maths and then and then and then there. But then yeah. Obviously, I applied for extra sense. I saw myself as like an actuary in the next. I but I didn't know more about this actuary thing. It's just like those pressure from like high school teachers be like, tell her, okay, you have to be an actuary, actuary or a doctor." So, mm. But uh, I didn't like life sense, so I was like, "No, doctor is not, it's for not me. gonna it's happen. Not for me." Yeah. So I was like, "I'm going for actuary." But then, when I get to first year here, things changed. 
So did you um, start with actual science? No, or? I didn't okay. start with actual science. I feel like during orientation, uh, there was uh, during those orientation leads, I was speaking about them and about like how actual is. They started telling us about how actual is chowing, <laughs> how is it difficult. Someone telling us about Mem 1000. I was like, am I really there? And also I think the other thing is the buzzer is like is yes. those actual science buzzer, they took time to respond. Like it took like a month when I was in university before they respond. Then those are country when they came. You know, and you know what? I would say it's the same situation yeah. with me. Like, you know, accounting bursaries were very quick to respond. That's the I was also I also came to UCT to actually do actual science. <laughs> and then, you know, actual science bursaries, they're taking forever. And it's yeah. only once you sign your accounting bursary, then the actual science bursary is. That's the thing. You know? Yeah. Okay. Then I was like, okay, I don't have a choice because I can't go to switch or what if I don't get a buzzer? Mm. Let me go for this one. And like funding also. was a major issue Yeah, as well. it was a major issue. So now, but I, I thank God that I chose this degree. Okay. Like, that's very really degree of a dream. <laughs> the, the, the ancestors gave me this degree. Yeah. Okay. Even though uh, I've never seen myself as becoming a CA, but now I see the vision. I see, like, now, yeah, this is where I'm meant to be. This is where you're meant to be. And I think sometimes we, we neglect the fact that, okay, Yes, the original dream was to become an actuary. Yeah. But you had to change direction and the direction you're going is not far off and it's not worse off actually. You're going into something that's still beautiful, yeah. that still has a lot of potential for you to grow. And it's still within the business field. You can do whatever with the CA degree. Simple. Like there's a lot of things that I've learned through this CA journey, like a lot of exciting stuff that I, I didn't know about. Mm. So like, like obviously once you start doing this you start growing with the degree second year you start developing the love now we see like okay now this is degrees for me like in first year uh, I didn't actually see okay am I doing accounting am so I just doing, doing general b like I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but now when you get to second year you'll be like okay cause it's chowing but I love this you love it that is for me Okay, we all know you in class as the guy <laughs> who is not only very intelligent but you're very hard working and you have the passion for accounting. I do. Like regard everything you do, um, somehow accounting <laughs> will be part of it. Um, <laughs> what really helped you develop the passion? Because as you said, you didn't initially come to UCT mm-hmm. to study ac- accounting. You mm-hmm. were here to do actual science. Mm-hmm. So how did you develop that passion for accounting? <clears throat> what can I say? Uh, okay. Uh, as I said, like this degree wasn't like meant for me. Like I didn't know, like, actually know like what's happening in this degree and everything. But I feel like uh, obviously accounting is like a, a principle based thing, right? Mm-hmm. So like and, and I'm someone who actually want to learn the principle and apply the principle. That's how actually accounting is. You learn the standards. Okay, this standard is saying this and this. And so now, okay, that's how I started developing this thing. And also it's an integration of numbers. I love numbers. Mm. Yeah, I love meds. So obviously when you love meds, in a county this meds. So that's how I started developing this thing. I started, okay. And obviously getting good grades. When you start getting good, you feel like, uh-uh, this thing is meant for me. for me. Yeah, so that's how I started developing this thing. And also like how I teach people. Like I'm someone who actually likes teaching people. I can sit down with, if you don't understand the lecture, I can sit down with you the whole one hour. And I'll teach you now. I was like, no, man, I love this thing. Because okay. they say if you can't teach it, you, you don't, don't know, know it. it so. Yeah. <laughs> now, going back, you're someone who gets good marks in accounting. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah. Let's, let me, let's say you're very consistent and, um, you know, you do get acad- academic awards from time to time. Yeah. Um, it, it's very tough in university. You know, you're surrounded by, yes, all the smart kids yeah. from the different schools. But even in university, you are still, you know, within the top students. How have you managed to do that? Because it's really tough. Yeah, it's a very tough one. But I feel like one of the most important thing here uh, that helped me is like cutting out like my social life. Like it's very, and also cutting the football gene because I told you, obviously when I came to UCT, I started playing football. I started playing for, for Copan because I was living in Copan the first year. But then I realized that if I need to do good, I really have to maximize my study time and cut off the, like, my social life. So I think that's one of the most important things that I had to do. I had to sacrifice my football career in order to, to go to, 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 to study, right? Mm-hmm. And also uh, helping friends. You see, you see, 
helping friends for me is a way of like learning it's a learning care for me okay. like when i help those friends of mine like that's how i actually start i can study something i just i realized that if for me i if i study something and I, i do like a question i might not get it correct but if i'm helping someone you will i'll definitely get it correct i like how you're speaking about that because you know um You know, when you teach someone, like you said, if you don't know how to teach it, then you don't know it. You don't know it. And it forces you to get back to That's what is actually happening. Yes. What is the thought process behind it? How do I tackle the question? That's Because the you can't help someone um, tackle a question if you don't know how to That's tackle it yourself. So, yeah, that, I think it helping people really... Yeah, did they, and obviously because, like, I'm a tutor at UCT. Obviously, when you're a tutor, like, yeah, there's a lot of expectations from you. And I was like, I think... Uh, um, that person who actually studied long hours, like I cross night, <laughs> guys, I cross night, like I have to get this good grade, like, cause I, I know myself, I know what I'm capable of, like, yeah. So yeah, that's how like I actually, my, I get good grades. Yeah. I don't think there's any other study method that I can say, okay, this is how we do it, but it's all about being consistent. If, if you fail, that doesn't mean it's the end of the one you fail, but you, you go back to the test. And we reflect, where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. And obviously the other thing is consultation. I feel like becoming friends with like the tutors for our tutors and our lectures is also helping me a lot. They know me there, the College of Accounting. <laughs> Almost <laughs> everyone yeah, knows, you. knows me or no. If there's something that is confusing, they will be there too. And they were always so open to help us. And then, the, yeah. And those lectures, something that I've realized about the lectures is, you see, when you go there and you consult about something, they... Those people are the people who are sitting these papers. So like what I've realized that something that they actually emphasize, they say, okay, you must do this, 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 this. And it comes on the test. That's the thing that they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know, okay, I must make sure that I know this thing. Mm. So that's why, that's why College of Accounting there, like just it's my playground. <laughs> your best, your Those best are my friend. Besties. Like, yeah. yeah, you see, you can see even the tutorials, a lot of tutors know me. Yeah, I feel like that's how things are. I do things. Just I agree. I think consultations is where you can get the yeah, most like, out of your learning. And you were saying? I mean, like, these people are paid for for this. They are paid for, 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 mm -hmm. for the teachers. Like, so I don't think a one-hour lecture for me is enough. That's why people are surprised why they tell us an actually You don't attend any lectures? Yeah, I don't attend lectures. <laughs> like, <but> Zero, guys. <laughs> When uh, you're at school, <laughs> at 8 a.m., Titello is most probably at home. Yes, obviously you cross nights. So yeah, that's when yeah, you are resting. Yeah. You you will not find him in a lecture. <laughs> if he's in a lecture, that's when you know it's bad. Yeah, you know if you see him in a lecture, you know that, that topic, like, I don't understand anything. Mm -hmm. So now that how you know, okay, why is this guy in the lecture? You know, now this guy is going through the most. <laughs> this guy haven't went through the work. But if you don't see me in the lecture, that's not that I've got it under control. I've got it under control. So, yeah, I think. And also, uh, I think, you see, making also these standards. I've made these standards my playing thing. Mm. It's like I play with these standards. Like I read the standards. It's like a Bible for me. <laughs> Okay. I read the standards. I read the standards. You see, like sometimes we are in a tutorial. Maybe the the, the, the tutor say hey, this paragraph, this is this this paragraph, and like some of the students don't know the paragraph. I know. Okay, I know this paragraph because I like I dig deep in the standards. I don't like just focus on what the lecture said then there because like this lecture sometimes they say thing, but now when it comes to a, like a an exam question type of question, like they said there's something different, but that thing is there in the standard. So mm. that's why I usually use the standard as my playing thing. It's my playing thing. Yeah. If you're to look at his standard, guys, we've all had a standard for at least nine months now. Yeah. His one looks like he has had it for 10 yeah. years. <laughs> you know, at some point I looked at his text and I was like, how long have you had the standard? Because what he says about really reading his standard and, you know, Becoming one with yeah. it, you know it back to front to the point where you have very little flags. That's that's the thing. Mm. Uh, that's the thing. Even when I get there in the test or in the exam, I don't really rely that much on the standards. Like I feel like a lot of problems that we face actually in this accounting is like, do you have time to go through the standards and also write in the exam? Do you have time to go to every single transaction that you see and check the standard? You don't really then have that time. Mm. So I feel like to you to maximize that time, use that time efficiently. So I think you have to learn those principles on your own and see what you feel like is hard for you to grasp and know. Mm. 
mm. flag within the standards. May I ask, you mm-hmm. see, with um, certain courses, mm-hmm. you know, the standard can be very confusing. Yeah. Um, you know, they say one thing, but they actually mean another. You know, the yeah. English behind it is, is crazy That's sometimes. That's why I use ChatGTP as my best friend. <laughs> Because I know English is not my mother mother tongue, guys. Like, I won't lie. Like, this degree really requires a lot of English. Like, understanding of English, guys. Yo, I remember when I was writing my management accounting paper, and there were, like, some things I was like, huh? What is happening? What is happening, guys? What do they mean? Mm. You actually know what they mean. But you're not the way sh- they phrase it. They phrase it. Mm. So it's very difficult for me. But like I feel like ChatGPT for some of the words in the standards, I copy it and paste in ChatGPT and say, ChatGPT, please explain what does this mean? Mm. It will make it easier for you. Yeah. The reason why I ask is mm. because, for example, in tax, um, you get something where it's a formula. But yeah. in tax, they, they give you the words of the formula, you but see. they don't give you the formula. The How do you then learn it if... You're not going to lectures, or you, how do you learn the structure behind <laughs> answering a question if Obviously, you're not going remember, to remember, lectures? Remember, uh, uh, the, we have a textbook for text, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and also I feel like the text lectures are so amazing. They are. I, but the thing is, I need to go through this on my own first and l- check the check the lecture videos. So those okay. lecture videos that are, are, are the one that I'm using, I'm using, okay, now we have a formula. How do we actually use this formula? I go to the lecture video. That woman will definitely tell you how do we use this formula then, then, then. That's when I know, okay, I've learned it on my own. Now, whatever the lecture is seeing, now I put them together. One plus one, two. Two. Okay. Then. I'm always amazed at your study methods. The mm-hmm. reason why I ask is because, you know, as university students, we often pick up the study routine of what most people are doing mm-hmm. because we all go to the lecture. Yeah. We all go to tutorials. We all do this and this and that. But we don't always get the results we want. That's the thing. And you have decided to carve your own path mm-hmm. and say, you know what, that is not working for me. I am going to set, set aside some time for myself and then I'll go through the work myself myself and and it's proven to be beneficial it's beneficial and i think for some people it doesn't mean you should stop going to that's lectures. the thing go to lectures <laughs> go to those <laughs> yeah. it doesn't mean you should stop going to lectures it just means that you need to find what works for you as long as it makes you get those good grades in the end that's what matters i feel like that's what matters that's what matters yes i feel like for me i the reason why I think the reason why I hate going to classes is because of how in high school my teachers used to treat me. I was mm-hmm. always that person or uh, I'm always like the, the teacher. When okay, you're ahead. Of that's the, the thing. Yeah. And we were used to writing those class tests. Okay, let's say, okay, today we are writing a class test about, let's say, uh, Newton's law. You know, my then my teacher will want to test the basics, right? Okay, they will give them the basics. But for me and this other friend of mine called Jerry, they will give us a very hard question. Same thing. Then they are teaching them the basic for now. For us, they say, okay, now we know, you know the basics, Mamba, but now focus on this one. Mm-hmm. Even attended classes, there were times where like they say, okay, if my teacher's teaching physics, I will study maths. Because they know that that guy's always up to date. You can they can say, okay, please go to the other class and study alone. You are mess. I want to focus on them there. And also, I think my teacher they they, 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 they trusted me to a point where like sometimes they say, Mamba, take the class for me. I know, I know that students understand from a student perspective. Yeah, that's I I feel like it come from high school. Then I, when I came here, I used the same thing. Okay. Because I tried going to lectures in first year. But guys, the thing is, they come here. Uh, the other. I don't learn anything. I need to do it on my own first. Then go ask yes. for help. Yes, go ask. Okay. That's how it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we hear a lot of people in accounting. We hear of the traditional journeys that people follow. You know, it's going through the audit route. And you have decided, you know what? I got audit articles, mm-hmm. but I'm not going that route. Why? No. You see, second year, if I catch you, <laughs> <laughs> you see, second year, if I catch you, hey. I feel like I feel like I felt like a. Uh, um, why I actually want to go to audit is because of like how 
like all oh, didn't treat me in second year <laughs> it was one of the hard, like if someone asked me which one is the hardest course you've ever done in your academic life i would say auditing one yeah go one <laughs> go one like it made me lose love for auditing like i completely lost love because i tried to study it i tried different things you did I, question papers i did question papers but it wasn't worth it at the end then i was like no guys is this auditing thing for me i feel like it does thing is not for me but obviously there by the side i was a finance boy i used to love ftx Mm. I used to love FTX. I've been like in those top tens of FTX. So I was like, mm, mm, I love finance. this finance part. Obviously, in the finance, you also focus on the financial reporting part. So I was like, no, because I also love this financial reporting. How about I go and try the finance field? Yeah, I want to go to the banking sector because I feel like nah, as much as even auditing is becoming better now, it's not. I don't think it's for me. Even I think the whatever auditors are doing like it's so much boring assembling <laughs> assembling agreeing these to this nah I it's don't not think. it's not the the journey nah, you want to take it's not like the journey but let me just say if i don't find that finance job that i actually want obviously the the, the, the general we say the general route is auditing then after auditing that's when i was like okay now let me go to the finance branching out. yeah were you not scared when cancelling your contract to say <laughs> Yo, okay, I'm canceling this contract. <laughs> Job security yeah, out the window. I, What was your thought process? <laughs> <laughs> But guys, you see, I didn't even think about the consequences because like auditing traumatized me. Yeah. I didn't think about like what are the consequences. But like auditing guys ah, a lot. They, I can <laughs> so write so a, yeah I can write a book about this auditing. Like I know and I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people who hate it. See? But the thing is, yeah, people who loved it. I was like, hmm, okay. I thought you were starting to love auditing two. Why do you love auditing one? No. But yeah, I felt like, so um, canceling the contract, uh, I spoke to my my scholarship, Moshal program, what amazing scholarship it is. <laughs> I feel like someone, if you... In metric. Yeah, in metric, please apply for Moshal scholarship. The journey is going to be simple. Yeah, so I've, I spoke to one of the... The, our career advisors there called Leah, that woman told me, okay, the devil, remember this is your life. We don't want you to be trapped in a cage. We want you to choose something that you actually want. Are mm -hmm. you sure you really want this? And I was like, mm -mm, I don't want. It's not where it's I not want to go. It. So go to VegWork. She was like, go to a VegWork and see what they are actually doing. Maybe you don't love it because maybe you're not getting the marks that you you think you might get. Go to VegWork and see what they're getting. We, went, we go to VegWork. <laughs> Same thing. You didn't like it at all. To bank recall. Ha. <laughs> to assembling. Agree this. Completeness. I was like, mm -mm. It's not the change you want me. to take. Let me cancel so the contract. You speak you spoke about something now that I like. Mm -hmm. Going to fact work. Mm -hmm. I've seen you're one of those guys on LinkedIn. <laughs> I've had the opportunity to go to this VEC work, this VEC work. What is the importance of VEC work? I think VEC works uh, actually like for me, for for what I've observed, they actually like put you at the top in terms of when you're gonna be looking for a job when you actually want to secure that article mostly they focus on okay now why you just it's not only about the good grades that you're actually getting you have the at least the, the, the experience, experience yeah, and then, yeah. then 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 because like now if you want to uh, apply for something like let's say first strength like we know that first strength could be one of the top 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 Banks, they take, yeah. yeah they take 10 people Like maximum. In a, yeah, in a maximum. Obviously, if we come with 20, all of us came with distinction. But what differentiates you from the others? Mm -hmm. You went to those vague works. You've been, that's, I, think, I feel like this is what vague works actually do. And also, vague works actually help you to, to see, like, do you actually want to do this? Is this auditing part? Is this what you want? Is this the finance route that you actually want? Do you want to become a tech specialist? Like they actually help you because just because you failed or because you're not doing good doesn't mean you like. You should stop. You, you should, should not look yeah, at that career altogether. Yeah, so I feel like those fake work also help us in those kind of things. Yeah. Okay, so um, speaking about the future, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself as an accountant? Let's say 10 years. What are the major, you know? Um, achievements you'd like to see within the next 10 years remember four years from now on we are cas right yes <laughs> counting down yes uh i want to be a cfo okay guys i want to be listed 
guys, I want to authorize those financial statements. <laughs> Mom, but <laughs> I see you. I want to authorize them, guys. Like, okay. yeah, that's where I actually see myself from now on. So, but like, yeah, it's quite, a, it's gonna be quite a journey. You just don't become a CFO. No, I feel like, yeah. Obviously, the reason I want to be a CFO is because the money is good. But let's say if things if you say if you pop, if things go according to you can also go branch into the CEO part. Like, yeah, that's where I actually see myself from 10 years from now on. But do I see myself living in South Africa? No. Mm, no. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want I don't see myself living that like the dream is like to go abroad. UK specifically? Yeah, or? UK. I like I want to actually this f- I want to. I wanted Spain. Why people say that? Why do you want Spain? Because like, yes, it's a yeah. different one altogether. Because Real Madrid is there. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> you want uh, to be the CFO of Real Madrid, yes. maybe? Yes. You know? Okay. Th- those are like yo. Uh, because like, what I like about Real Madrid, Real Madrid is doing good in the field and financially. It's okay. the first lap to hit one billion dollar as a revenue. Just loves. Oh wow! You're that. You love soccer that much. <laughs> I love soccer. You're, you're checking the financial statements. Guys, that's on what a... I do. If people are on my WhatsApp, they see the things that I post. Guys, I update people. of like, guys, it's not just because you're not doing. You're not in the CEO. It doesn't mean you don't have to. Know. I tell them, okay, this is what's happening in life. Yeah, that's how I am. I tell people, okay, if you want to, to to check the financial statement, if the company is doing good, don't just check the profit. There's a lot of things that you actually have to check. Decision making, guys. Manek, <laughs> manek. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's speak directly to the courses that we do. Four courses. The four main courses that we do. Yeah. In your opinion, okay. rank them. What is the best to worst? Okay. And give us reasons okay. why. Okay, 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 okay. First, I will put financial, financial reporting. reporting. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's I, feel, one. I feel like financial reporting is my best friend. It's the thing that, come on, even if I don't put that more for after effort, I will, I will still do good. I will still do very good. Like, that module loves me because I also love it. Like, I understand. Like, even if the question comes, but, like, we're not guided on how to do it, like, I think it just come naturally to see like what is actually expected from me. Mm-hmm. It can come as a high order, but at the end of the day, fifty percent of the mark I'll get it. So like a financial reporting, it's my best friend. I love it, my number one. <laughs> number two, management accounting. <laughs> <laughs> I guessed it. <laughs> yeah, Menek, guys. I feel like yo, you know Menek. Uh, is Menek is very technical. It's very very hard. You know what I what. Paints me about my neck. Because you love it, but it doesn't love you. It doesn't love me. <laughs> I get you, I get it's, you. It's one of those, sorry to take the spotlight away, but, you know, I love management accounting so much, and it's because it's the area yeah. I want to work yeah. in so much. But it's like, the more I practice, the worse my marks get. And it's like, what I is get, going on? I get you. I get you. Yeah. yeah many of the thing is too technical, but I, I, like, if there's some things that I'm actually interested in that many, like, uh, it's not something that they just test basics. Like they take the, the to actually understand what's going on. They can teach you S1 plus one, but when it comes to the exam, like <laughs> something different. They, they teach so, you de- derivatives yeah. in the exam. You see, yeah. you see, that's the thing. So many is so technical to open like I, I love those challenging questions and I like the decision making, like wait, let's see. You don't just write one plus one now. Give me a qualitative consideration. Why did you do this? Mm. That's why I love Menek. Even though sometimes the marks don't come the way I want, <laughs> but you still I love, love it. it. I love it. Then thirdly, guys, it has to be text. You see, text is like it's that, it's that person that you don't love too much, <laughs> but he loves you. <laughs> but he loves you. Wherever you go, is there. So text, like, uh, yeah, a lot of theory there and there, but I, I usually do good in text. And the way you see, the way I, I've ranked them is that how like my marks usually rank. Okay, wow. <laughs> Start for FR, Manic, Tex, <laughs> then and audits. auditing, yeah. But uh, this year, I think it's changing. It's better, like, uh, you see, the thing I feel like in auditing, well, like, I didn't actually see the direction of where we are going. I, I agree. First, That's, the first auditing module, it's very like, what is happening here? Why are we, why do I have to learn these cycles? What's the purpose of it? Now you see, okay, now the step one, okay, you know, okay, now this is what you do. At the end of the day, we want to provide like those... Reasonable know, assurance. Yeah, that I know, I see how things are. 
men like one they will say in the management perspective now give us the control there, 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 there. now I know okay now my focus is on uh, those control they've given me let me test them mm. are they working effectively that's what I love about mm, car two but like car one mm, that's not, not, for me. not for me so if you were to give people at home what each of the courses actually are about you know you know when you get into um, accounting oh. you just think oh I'm going to come to accounting okay. but for, start, let's areas. start with financial protein so financial protein like it's just like a guidance of how do we actually prepare those financial statements those financial statements that you see there they have been released they say okay for upside really their financial statement those numbers revenue there they we've been guided by what by what by FRS FRS is guide yes so that's why financial report is all about those book, book keep we start by recording general entries and everything at the end of the day we're gonna have what have what a, a full financial statement so that's financial reporting mm-hmm. now now then There comes tax, right? Remember when we, we do financial we do fin- we do financial statement we start with revenue there there and say profit before tax and we say tax expense and we say profit after tax. Now that tax specialist is there for the tax expense. Is there to calculate how much tax is this we company? Have to get yes, to give to South. Yes, yeah. how much do we actually pay? So it's like a cash flow. But then obviously financial report will come with its different tax and say okay because financial report is like. Accrual. Yeah, it's not, accrual. It's not money, actually. Yeah. That's why management accounting and financial reporting are not friends. Because yeah. management accounting is saying... What's the cash? What's the cash? Because you can't buy a car with profit. We use cash to buy... Yeah. So that's where tax comes. Tax help us, guys, to see how much as an individual... Also, we also have individuals. So, like, trust, individuals, companies. So those people are, are like, are tax different. So tell us, okay, how much tax that we have to pay in this current year? right now we come to to auditing now remember we've done everything a text told me what's my tax expense with my current and I did my defect tax and I say my profit after tax now before I release those financial statement someone needs to check them yeah someone needs to check them yeah which is an auditor this is auditing check them are those things in terms of FRS the, uh, are the calculation correct that's what they do so that's the the job of an auditor okay but obviously we know the job of an auditor only is not only focusing on like those financial statements they must check out okay do we comply with laws and regulations then then there's this company reputation is it good before we start yeah we know those kind of things then we come to management accounting wow <laughs> so management accounting guys it's all about i think from the most of the the focus is on like it helps us about like how do we actually con- make decisions make decisions mm. how do we control the cost Yeah, they help us with like decision making and costing. We say this is a chair. There's a lot of things that goes into making, into making chair. this chair. And there's a lot of like like assumptions that are made there. We calculate a pretty diamond overhead. Like there's a lot of costing method. So until we come to that cost of sales, right? So now a management account will come and say, okay, now this, 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 this. And also I feel like management, like it shows about, decision making those things about costing and about like planning as planning, well planning yeah budgeting management account is there to help us with a budget okay that's a, and also evaluating the performance you say okay now with budgeted you say you've beat the budget okay now you have to, if we look at you said you must spend 10 rand as a budget now you spend 5 rand that 5 rand just because you spend less than what we thought you must buy doesn't mean it's a good thing mm-hmm. there are things that can come there so that's the way a management account that comes i think how I like to also look at it is that a management accountant um, decides the figures yeah. for the financial reporting yeah. to actually tell people about. So the management accounting does the work mm-hmm. where they tell you how the company is going yeah. to run and then the financial reporter will then look at the what the management accounting said should happen yes. and then actually organize oh. it for people Be- to read. Yes, because at the end of the day as a management, okay, as a, also as a management accountant, you also, if you are doing things, there are some things that are done for internal purposes. For example, let's just say RS2 of inventory. FRS, FRS will say use absorption costing. But as a, if you want to check for, 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 for internal purposes, you must use what? Variable, variable costing. costing. But mm-hmm. you can cost something using variable costing. FRS says you must use what? You must use uh, absorption costing. That's mm-hmm. what it says. It says he, if we use standard costing, it's fine. You can use standard costing as long as they are approximately what? The same. The same. Those are the kind of things that we... 
don't forget you do it but don't forget the loss is the big boss is the if i resist the big boss yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you speak very passionately about school like i think you're the first you're one of the first or few people mm-hmm. i know who are so passionate yeah about this degree like you love it i love it but that doesn't every mean, part of your body it doesn't mean it doesn't have those stand force guys we do feel like, yes. like but pick up yourself guys and i can tell you guys please ask for help from those peers of yours like ask for them bother them guys i don't know the day both of us will think each other you so the, the the aim now is not for like me and gamu and finally the aim is not for me just to graduate me and gamu must graduate together because we are friends we know each other imagine you are graduate this celebrity but the same person that you've known since first year is not celebrating with you, you see now you spoke about the challenges mm-hmm. you know we spoke well about how yes you're doing well academically what have been points within your journey where you're like can i continue is this really for me or even if you didn't have those but what have been the downfalls or the bottom you know the pits of your journey uh the challenges that i actually faced firstly um i would say the balancing of 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 like uh, this soccer a uh, football career and also school that's one of the most challenges that i actually faced like i tried I tried I tried to study go to training but like it didn't work so I had to sacrifice you had to choose I had to choose so I think those are the the the, the first challenging part I actually faced the faced so I also think the other one that the, the the challenging part uh let's say first year it was like making friends within okay. the beginning because I knew Vukamu second year that's why you know one of the that's why you know one of the all the Bianca then there i didn't actually have those friends that i can sit down we speak about this degree so it was really hard for me because even if you're I isolated want, yeah i want help then and there who will i go to i don't know because i usually don't go to classes so that's when i started like okay should i go to classes just but to make the friends just to make mm. those friends but okay i met you guys outside the classrooms and then there i met you guys in the tutorials now i'm be like okay i don't have to go there because no i have my friends there and there i feel like those two have been like my most challenge let me not forget the other one you see also tutoring you see <laughs> guys tutoring will take your time Every especially last year. Remember last year first semester I was doing seven courses. Seven courses. And now yeah, I was also tutoring statistics. Now the thing is how do you manage how do you all? manage these seven courses guys? I came to a point where I was like guys, okay. But this account is not the account that I thought was accounting. Mm. I'm doing I have they say I have four like four majors there. I mean, But now I have these other courses to do as well. It came to a point where something like ethics I didn't study them. I studied them like Let's say three days before I was going to write because I didn't have time. <laughs> I didn't have time because now if you don't do your job at the state department, you don't get paid because I can't always take my hours and give them to others. No. So I had to sacrifice those kind of things. Information system, I also had to, sac- I had to sacrifice it. But at the end, like, it paid off. Mm. Yeah, those are the challenges, guys. The balance, yo. yo. And if I, if I remember, I, was, I once watched one of your videos here at this... Same thing. Uh, there was this other guy. I don't know if that guy was studying actual science. It was like, I, oh, there's, a, there's a triangle that you have to know, guys. There's That's a, also one. Ever yeah, since he said I that. I always keep that in mind, guys. You have a social, a, school, sleep. Mm-hmm. Guys, and you can't choose them. Choose two. And obviously, I choose sleep and I choose school. Guys, even though people can see you balance what, now I feel like school for me is like, My first thing I know where I come from uh prioritize school like I know gamma like where I come from if I don't make it in school where will I go yes we can it's yeah. your main option that's my main I don't have a choice at this point mm. I don't have a choice yes yeah, so obviously my I have my sister is working there and there but I don't really mm-mm. you don't want to depend on your sister yeah I need to get the degree do my honors and yeah maybe become a 80 who knows <laughs> oh let's speak about that <laughs> i was about to say you tutor you you do a lot in the you know just yeah. you tutoring stats I'm but tutoring stats. you might join the accounting. i might join the college of accounting next week so i'm the plan was to tutor like at least uh become a head tutor for stats 
I've been there for like the, the two years. Now I think like I have the, the experience, I can he- be a head tutor. And also I thought about AD management accounting. Okay. Yeah. Finance, the thing is, I know that the thing is, a lot of people applied for the financial, financial reporting. reporting. So I was like, okay, let me go for management accounting because in that financial reporting, let's give other kids, a other chance. people a chance. So you didn't apply at all for financial reporting? It was my third option. But you, the thing is, I feel like because you're so well known in the department, they're going to see it as your third <laughs> choice and be so confused yeah. as to, and you still might get the job. Yeah, um, that's why, but, I, but the main thing, I was like management accounting, head to tough states. But we'll see how it goes now. Remember, hmm. I'm not the one who's going to make the decision at the end. No, what I want to ask you mainly mm. is, you know, you, you're you thinking about becoming an academic trainee. So for those who don't know, um, being an academic trainee is where you have your three years of articles. And for the first year of your articles, instead of going to an audit firm mm-hmm. or bank or a company directly, you will stay within the university and become an assistant lecturer. Yeah. You help prepare tests. You help prepare tutorials. You basically do what a lecturer will lecturer would do yeah. but at a smaller level smaller level so you are saying you want to do that yeah i felt like mm-hmm. and uh there's something that i've observed through this tutoring gene like how how when after tutoring i love those how those my tattoos come to me say did they love you're the best you know your job like i went to different then then different people but i didn't get, get what, what I, I wanted want, but i came to you i got what i wanted so the, always those kind of things motivate me like, no, man, I can make a difference in someone's life. That's what I want to do. I want to, someone when someone is there, is big, big, and be like, there was a guy in my first year. Who when helped I, me. Who, who helped me when I, did, I didn't know anything. I want to be part of some people's journey. That's what I want to do. Okay. That's, so, I love that. Yeah. So it's bigger than yourself. Yeah, it's bigger than myself. So it's not only because, okay, money then, then, then in this uh, AT, what, what. Like it's also about the passion of teaching, but I know about how they the eighties tell us about the how hard is it then there. But I feel like they did it. Why can't I? Why can't you? Now, um, most people who do become eighties end up becoming lecturers. Hmm. So you're speaking about being a CFO, <laughs> yeah, and um, not to say you can't do it, but yeah. obviously another part of you, if you want to become an AT. Uh, there's an inclination that you might want to become a lecturer. But that's the thing. So how would you balance the two? About being a... A future lecturer? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I haven't thought really about like becoming a future lecturer. Okay. I haven't really sat down and thought about it. But I feel like after this academic training journey, uh, that's where like, I will make a decision. It's like, do I see myself as a lecturer? Okay. Yeah. So for now, I really... Nah, I just want to go there to the... General route. Let's go there. <laughs> Let's be the Let's CFO be, of the, the future. CFO. Yes, yes, that's what I want. And obviously, but I felt, but like some other thing were like, okay, did that, what about if you go to the corporate and like work for it like 10 years then there, then after you've got those knowledge and the experience, how come you come and share the knowledge? Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. So you are a tutor, mm-hmm. you are a top student, mm-hmm. and you are a future CA. And, I, and, and I am a brother. <laughs> and you're a brother and you're a future uh, CFO. Uh-huh. There's so much you have um, going for you. Mm-hmm. What is something that keeps you going um, in this journey? Um, you spoke about how obviously at home you don't want to go back to not being financially be free. That's your why. It's in my situation at home. Okay. And like the other, my why is I want to see like... Uh, I've seen how my grandmother struggled, struggled because of me, you see. He had, she had to raise me. Like, now I want her to, to see the, 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 the those, fruits. The fruits. Mm. I want her to do that. So that is why, my, why I'm going to school. Why my why? I want to show her that, look, look, those sacrifices that you made, they didn't, they didn't go to vain. No. They were worth it in the end. They were worth it and So that's why I want to see you. That's why I say, okay, now if I graduate, I want her to be the first time coming to Cape Town, being in a flight, you see. Yeah. So I feel like my why at this moment is just like focus on my grandmother. And obviously, I have my aunt. Obviously, my aunt, my mom, obviously. But like my grandmother is like, yeah. Because like that is, that to me is like a mom, a father to me. But obviously, that doesn't mean I, my aunt and my sisters, my mother, 
uh, like I, I don't care about them. I care about them a lot because they're part of my family. Obviously, if it wasn't about those prayers and those support from them, I wasn't gonna be there. But like my 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 main why is my grandmother. Is your grandmother? Yeah, and she knows every time I gonna go home. I tell hello when I when I when I go go. Korata too much. Love a garden. Korata too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. So yeah. That's my why. That's your why. Your why. grandmother is your why. Yeah, my why. I love that because <laughs> it's when you have such a why. Because sometimes a lot of people's motivation is money, and mm-hmm. there's n- there's nothing wrong with wanting more money. Mm-hmm. But there's so many other ways there's to get money. money. And do you know what I about, like about my grandmother? She didn't go to varsity, but he understands how varsity is. Like, let's see how many. I think like five, six from my family went to university and graduated. So like she understand. Like if I tell her that, okay, like I didn't do good in this thing, I failed. Hey, I, I want to extend. She was. She says, nah, I, I get you. Like university is not easy. But at the end, we know that the goal, we have to graduate. Mm. So like she really understand me. Like she's that person where actually if I don't know someone I can talk to, I can talk to her. She will encourage me. She will say, "One, I know you've been doing good in high school. Go there, go do what you have to do. Go there, go there." Is it? Yeah. She's your big motivator. She encourages <laughs> you. Koko mampa. Remi Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. If people were to sign mm-hmm. training contracts, what do you think is the perfect time to sign? Finally. Final year. Final year. For me, it's final year. First year, guys, I feel like they come to us because they know where we come from mm-hmm. and we'll definitely sign. But guys, do not trap yourself. And I know you come from, you are so scared because, you, guys, those opportunities are going to come. They will definitely come. So I, feel, I feel like you must sign your training quarter when you are like you're in a third year there. That's when you actually understood like what's actually accounting, where are the different routes that you actually want to, to take. Because what if you say you want to take the auditing route, but then you, you don't actually love this auditing. You try, you pass it, even if you pass it 100% is fine, but you don't love it. Mm. So I feel like third year, that's where like now, if you ask 99% of those third years now and say, okay, now guys, which route do you want to take? They will definitely tell you, oh, I want to focus on this one. I want to focus on this one. Mm. Nah. So uh, from that mistake that I actually made, I don't want people at the back down making the same mistake. Making the yeah. same mistake, Guys, yeah. don't rush in making that decision. I think what we also need to make sure is, right, um, obviously if you have funding elsewhere, mm. because um, the only time where it's good to make that decision in first year is if that company is going to yeah, fund you. Yeah, that's the yeah. That's the only time to sign with yeah. someone in first year. The reason why we say this is because even if you're signed to an amazing company, even if you're signed to you know every most accountants go big yeah, four, yeah. right? Even in third year, you can still get into big four. You can. Don't be scared that, oh, my word, everyone around me yeah, is signing. Yeah. It's okay to not be signed. Go to all the different options for VAC work. You know, all of them open during June and December. Mm-hmm. Don't rush to sign, especially if you don't need the financial yeah. aspect of it. If you do have the financial need, okay, it's understandable why you sign early. But if you don't have financial need and you're maybe on NS fast yeah. or you're on another bursary, wait end of second year beginning of third year don't wait till too late yeah. because especially for those who want to go banking banking is very strict in terms of when to apply the kinds of marks you yeah. need you don't apply for banking in pgda where your marks are <laughs> most likely not going to be that great yeah. whereas in undergrad you have relatively better marks um you can get distinctions here or, th- or here or there. Yeah. Um, so third year, I agree. I think it's a great time to sign for that company. You understand the kind of person you are. You kind of you understand the different roots of accounting because in first year you think you understand. Yeah, but you really don't. You really don't. You don't understand. Maybe the company you're signing to is primarily focused on audit okay. yes but it could be audit in a specific sector only or do you want to go to a smaller firm where you know you get bigger opportunities to you know yes it's you're auditing smaller companies but you audit many small companies whereas if you go to a bigger audit firm you might audit like three or four yeah. big companies in the year i feel like you know, a lot of people when those who actually want to go to audit they want to go to the me- medium sized one like 
as they, as they say the exposure that you get when you're in the medium sized one like is a lot different industries compared to when you are in the big four mm. yeah so i feel like that's the, those are the kind of decisions that you actually have to make when you are in like those third years of your undergrad mm. because like in first year you don't really even know the difference between a medium size the big four you don't even know which one is a more small one so yeah i feel like that is one is a very important thing to very and ask those people who do yes. those career services there ask ask questions ask don't questions. be afraid another thing i wanted to say is mm. that um what did i want to say uh i had it it was on the tip of my tongue okay with the medium size small and oh yes this is what i wanted yeah. to say oftentimes we sign to companies because of the name of the company mm-hmm. and we forget that a name can only take you so far i don't dispute that big four is big four for a reason but you need to know what kind of person you are and what kind of um um job you want in yeah. the future where do you see your career going and don't just go to big four because you know everyone else is doing yeah. it so i have i see it in tiktok where they say yeah, i have signed it for big four i've signed yeah congratulations but then that doesn't mean everyone want the big four people mm-hmm. want like where they are small yeah because i feel like you see what i like about this medium sized one they, you can actually work and also do the pgd if that's what you want but in a big four you can't do that mm. so yeah okay just to wrap this off uh ditelo we wish you well we can't wait to see you graduating next year <laughs> us will be across the stage april march uh, april year. march <laughs> yeah. we're going to be there year, april march qualify <laughs> we are going to be walking across yeah, sarabatman hall um but to 10 year old Tedelo if you just think about him what would you say to him and what would you what would you say to encourage him or maybe you know warn him about my 10 year old 10 year old me yes what would you say to him <laughs> it's a very very difficult question but there's something that I can tell my 10 year old me say the decision that you actually made when you were high school that see the decision that you make in high school where you decided to go for education rather than going for football that was a wise a very very wise decision that you actually made and now it's paying off now it's pay off what you actually wanted you didn't get it as being a professional footballer because yeah that was the default one but now what do you know that is long term for you like it can help you yeah, 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 situation that you're facing in life like my financial background then there is there stay you're getting there now you're getting there so mm. i just want to encourage that person to say like yeah what well, my 10 year old me wherever you are don't lose hope we are getting there the cast is the csa this nation is coming it's coming it's coming, <laughs> it's coming. and then what would you tell <laughs> did elo um who's now a qualified ca wow <laughs> <laughs> those sleepless nights were worth it those sleepless nights were worth it and also did they know the did they remember csa <laughs> thank you for like helping people not being like selfish about it selfish about it in your varsity life thank you for helping a lot of people like I, i hope wherever you are you are so proud of yourself that like yeah people are also see is now because you are also part of their journey so yeah now guys we had to tell all is a feature c a s a and one thing i really learned is that you really need to know what your why is what is the one thing that is motivating you to become better to want more for yourself to set goals for yourself and um another thing i learned is that you need to create a study method you yeah. need to create a study structure that works for you don't follow what everyone else is doing cater how you learn mm-hmm. to who you are and that way you can ask um for help from your tutors your ats your lecturers Even don't your peers. and your peers those people they are smart people out there they are They're very smart. incredible people <laughs> so don't be afraid to ask from myself kam khaloma ponya and from titelo mampa it is goodbye <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>